All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles, uh, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, peace and blessings to the Akim who go out throughout the four corners of the earth to teach us truth throughout uh, throughout the earth. Yeah, throughout the four corners of the earth. So, like so yeah, um, this video here was inspired by the brother Chassad from Great Millstone Northwest, uh, the camp that I uh, gratefully belong to. And, uh, you know, he did a video on on this. And uh, so I just wanted to kind of come along and, you know, bring some scriptures that I found uh, to it as well. Because it, uh, it was a beautiful video. And, uh, you know, uh, it's a beautiful thing if the Most High knows your name, you know, because we praise his name, you know, daily. <clears throat> and that's, that's the goal of this thing is, is being saved through his name. So... I'm going to start out with, uh, let's see, 1 Corinthians 8 and 3. Uh, but if any man love the Most High, the same is known of him. Right? And how do we love the Most High? We follow his laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, as well as follow his son's example, Yahweh Shai's example, to the, uh, you know, as closely as possible. Right. So, but if any man love the Most High, right, is uh, obedient to the Most High, the same is known of him. So, if you prove, have proven yourself to love the Most High or to be obedient unto the Most High, follow His ways, His laws, statutes, and commandments, He knows you, right? And that's 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 a beautiful thing, and that's an honor, right? Uh, Galatians four and nine. But after now, after that, ye have known the Most High or rather are known of the Most High, how turn ye again to the weak and to the beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage, right? Because you got a lot of niggas that come into the truth, you know, and they they know the Most High, they learn the Most High, and the Most High knows them. But, you know, the Most High also knows uh, the inward parts of man. And they might be reprobate, and they get cast out. You know, but, uh, you know, they turn again to the weak and beggarly elements, wherein to ye desire again to be in bondage. You desire to be in this world, right? Your mind, you know, this is talking about, you know, mental slavery as well. I mean, because I mean, even, even when you come into this truth, you still are under physical slavery. You still got to go to work every day. You know, you still got to have a, um, a birth certificate and a, a social security number. Right, you still have to have a license to to travel, but um, mentally, you know, this truth shall set thee free. You know, roughly paraphrasing, and uh, that's how we're free. But you choose to be a, uh, go back into bondage, meaning you you go back into the world. All right, I'll look up another scripture. Nahum 1 and 7. Yahweh, Yahweh is good, a stronghold in a day of trouble, right? We call on his name, you know, we, we pray, you know, and he that knoweth them trust that in him, trust in him, right? So, <clears throat> he, uh, and he knoweth them that trust in him, right? So he knows us that put our faith and our, our trust in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because we know we can't deliver ourselves through our own strength. We're not going to be able to deliver ourselves through uh, our own will. You know, this is of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's the only way to be saved. It's through Him. Right? Let's see, I'm going to bring up Exodus 33. It's a long one. I don't know if I'll get to all that. Come back to that actually. That's a long one. Uh second Timothy two and nine. Uh let's see. Timothy two and nineteen. Nevertheless, the foundation of the most high standeth standeth sure, having this seal. 
Yahweh knoweth them that are his, right? And who are his? The elect of the nation of Israel, 144,000, 12,000 from each tribe. And the uh, the one third multitude, we're his, man. He he chose us before the foundation of the world, and uh, he knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Yahweh Shai depart from iniquity. All right. So that's our job, you know, put away our iniquities, you know, admit our sins and our faults, and start following Yahweh Shai to the best of our ability. Right. He left us a perfect example of how. <laughs> excuse me, of how to be. James <clears throat> 2 James 2 starting at 21 was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar right seeth thou how faith wrought his works and by works was faith made perfect Right, because uh, in order to know the Most High, you know we're a friend of the Most High. That's the name of it. That's why I'm gonna name this friend, friends of Yahweh by faith and works. Right, and the Scripture was fulfilled, which saith, Abraham believeth Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called a friend of the of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Right, he earned the title of being a friend of Yahweh. Of the most high power right through his work and through his faith that's that's a beautiful thing right there all right uh let's see what else we got up in here let's see what this one's talking about genesis 15 and 6 and he believed in the most uh he believed in yahweh and he counted him and counted it to him for righteousness. Right? That's a good scripture right there. And he said unto him, I am Yahweh that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees to give thee this land to inherit it. Right? That's a, that's a beautiful scripture right there. And he believed in the in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, and he counted him to him, counted it to him for righteousness because of his faith. He actually believed. Right, man, that's beautiful. Uh, let's see, Chronicles, Second Chronicles. Twenty and seven. Second Chronicles twenty and seven. Art are, are are not thou of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, who didst drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel, and gavest it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend, forever? Right? Yeah. You know, so through through his works and through his faith, you know, and through using the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, you know. Abraham was able to uh, become a friend of the Most High. And uh, the inhabitants, you know, the, the people of, of Israel were given the land of Israel forever. You know, that's a cut to those who, those Christians who say we were cut off. You know, we we're cut off for but a time to learn our lesson. All right. <clears throat> Isaiah. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect, I have, I have even called thee by thy name, and have surnamed thee, throughout uh, though thou hast not known me. Right. So the nation of Israel, right. He gave us our name. You know, he gave us the name Israel, and uh, he surnamed us. You know, let's look up that word surname. Kana, 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 ah. right? Flattering titles. Let's see. Biblical uses. Strong's definition. To address by an additional name, hence 
to uh, eulogize, give flattering titles, a surname himself. Right? Call someone, person, or thing by a figurative, figurative name or uh, cognomen. Right? Especially by an honorable app, uh, appellation to adorn with the title. That's beautiful right there. Uh, the Bible usages to title, surname, be surname, give uh, an epith epithet or uh, cognomen, right? Give a flattering title to call by name, give titles, be title, right? So the Most High did that for us, you know, because he loved us. You know, not because we were the largest in number, but we were the fewest. But he loved us because of our forefathers and their actions. Yeah. And that's what we got to get back to. Hebrews 11 and 8. Love this chapter. By faith, Abraham, when he, called, when he was called to go into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance obeyed and he went out and not uh, and not knowing whether he went by faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob the heirs with him of the promise right it doesn't say anything about any other nations for he uh, for he looked for a city which uh, hath foundations whose builders and maker is Yahweh whose builder and maker is Yahweh through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive a seed and was delivered of a child uh, when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised right again faith you know the most high knows us because if we're faithful therefore spring even uh, there even one and him as a good as good as dead so many as the stars of the sky in multitude and as the sand of the sea in the shore, uh, seashore innumerable these all died in faith not having received the promise but having seen them from seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced of them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on earth for they that say, uh, say such things declare plainly that they seek a country and truly if they ha had been mindful of, of that country from whence they came out they might have had opportunity to, uh, to return but now they desire a better country that is and heavenly wherefore Yahweh is not ashamed to be called their power for he hath prepared for, for them a city and that's the kingdom of heaven by faith, again, here we go, that faith, when he was tried, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promise offered up his only begotten son, of, uh, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall the seed be called, right, because Isaac is, uh, you know, the progenitor, uh, Abraham's the progenitor of uh, the promise, you know, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And the twelve tribes, right? And thy seed shall be called in Isaac. Hey, Isaac was Yahweh Shai. If you can receive it, you know the Most High is giving you the, the power and understanding to receive it. But with that, I didn't want to make this too long. Um, you know, I just wanted to get into how, you know, through our faith and through our our works, you know, Yahweh knows us because we're obedient to His law. You know, like I said in First First Corinthians. So uh, to the best of our ability. And, uh, you know, we believe in Yahweh Shai and, and we honor Yahweh Shai. We, we, we praise Yahweh Shai. Right? And with that, we'll wrap it up. Say Shalom to the Akim out there.